Rue Mevlana's process is that we all defer to our God, Nathan Jarvis, who puts a package together and we go over it in a first meeting and talk about, you know, what the feel of it is and what our what our motivations are and our parts and get a feel for it. And then we have very organized rehearsals dealing with this, that, and the other thing. And then we put everything together. And it's very collaborative and very creative and um, very fun. Justine Crosby is directing this year, which is amazing. So I got to produce the songs and she's taking the reins and directing and choreographing. There are a lot of elements to, of the show that I think people would find interesting. One being the post-apocalyptic post um, element. I mean, that's always fun. Um, aliens are always fun. It is all these years after the end of the world, supposed end of the world, and these androgens slash scavengers are coming to find out what's left on the planet and what's going on and then this alien being comes on the scene and we don't really know what's happening and we're trying to figure out and get to know this other life force and get along with one another and then we all break out in song like a really cool Disney movie. Yeah. Gorgeous as usual. How about you, Justine? The approach we're taking with the show is sort of a native tribe of people that have come together in sort of a post-apocalyptic world and we find this sort of rhythm and pattern that we are all living on that has some control and power over us and so we have an approach to dancing that is both observant of sort of a military movement with unearthly we have a creature like presence but we also have a robotic like presence so the way that we're dancing gives us a place to express ourselves in a very rootsy, tribalistic way, you know, like really getting loose with some and really strong with other parts, so it's going to be really cool. I think everybody looks awesome doing it and it feels really real. This particular show, my favorite part of this process has been having Justine as sort of a conceptualizer of the dance because in the past we've had to kind of come up with it ourselves and, and it's been fun and it's been the product has always been great but for this one I feel like I see somebody do something and she says do this and she's got this um, this choreographed thing in her head and we just play it out and she's really good about taking ideas and it's just ideas floating around the room and she has this this beginning and then we end up over here and it's it's amazing it's really fun and there's actually different different moves and it feels like dance Nathan writes a song um, or at least you know writes the music for the song and then we get together and stay up all night um, writing lyrics and the music or the singing parts um, and that's really fun, and we have a lot of different ways of doing it. I mean, sometimes it's like we play a word game. Um, sometimes we'll like, you know, get inspiration from like mythology or like books we're reading or something and just kind of go with it. One of the best things about the process, though, is that there are no rules. The crazier, the better. So like, just let your imagination run wild. And that's a lot of song. <laughs> well, I'm bringing my usual um, pizzazz and energy and amazing fucking talent. And aside from that, technically, I'm going to be doing some dancing. I like to do a lot of backup singing, so they they indulge me in doing backup singing. We would 
of in an enormous universe, of course there has to be something out there. One of the biggest reasons that I believe in aliens is because um, my grandfather was an extremely intelligent and logical like Republican banker, but he also studied astrology and he believed in aliens. And so I figured that, you know, if someone who has, you know, spent their life trying to find, like, the truth of the matter in things, believes in aliens. Um, I mean, there are so many planets, there's so many galaxies, the universe is so, like, unbelievably large. I mean, we have no conception of that size. How could there not be life on other planets? Absolutely. I would love to meet an alien, wouldn't you? I mean, I bet they're pretty cool. They're way more advanced than we are if they can get into our atmospheres and find us and we can't find them. So, I kind of want to know one. And whenever I'm feeling like, you know, I just don't know how to get through the day, um, I feel like I need a little help, you know. I call the occupants of interplanetary craft and, um, and I ask them to help me, you know, help guide me throughout the day and you know they do speak to me sometimes you know through radio waves sometimes um, psychic you know wavelengths um, and it's, they're very helpful I mean whether or not they would be you know peaceful when they come is um, is up for debate but I mean we talk about that a lot don't we be prepared and excited to go into another dimension and feel the feel the funky groove of the scavengers in the next realm. Mm -hmm. At Drag Ball 2012. Come get out. Winter is such a drag. But not for me. Not right now. But it's pretty much a drag in other ways. So come, dance with us, come see the beautiful, crazy, fun performance you know who always puts on for you. Bunny.